Let's bring in Andrew Fizikas, astronomy columnist and author with National Geographic. Andrew, good to see you. Uh, your take on this glitch here. Yeah, I mean, this was obviously unforeseen, but I would say that probably the, the mission control in Pittsburgh, Astro, Astrobotics, which is the company that owns the Paragon lander and is and is really controlling it, they've probably gone through testing this previously, going through all the maneuvers of what would happen if the panels, the solar panels aren't uh, aren't oriented right. So in fact, in the last uh, hour, uh, Three, just before noon, Eastern time, they announced that they uh, did some kind of workaround, a software workaround where they can actually maneuver the spacecraft so that the panels can actually face the sun. But however, they did that just before they lost communication, uh, 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 something that they were expecting with the spacecraft to lose the communication. But so they don't know if it was successful because right now the problem, Todd, is that they are losing energy. The battery power is draining quickly. So they have a very limited window of time to fix this problem. Yeah, how crucial is it obviously to get that, that power from the sun for this mission to, uh, to go successfully, Andrew? Right. Yeah, they're, they, they need to, to, to boost up that battery. The battery has enough reserves and the software on board is smart enough to know what happens if the, if the panels are not pointed there. So they can, they can reorient energy to you know, the most vital instruments, which of course is communication with Earth. That can work for a short period of time, but it's not enough battery juice to last for it to go to the moon. And by the way, it, it's a it's a it's a loop de loop way they're going around the Earth and and gaining uh, uh, enough energy to go to land on the moon. And it and the schedule is February 23rd. So there's no way for uh, for them to have enough energy if they don't fix this. It's a it's a dead duck if they if they can't do it. Hey, bigger picture, this obviously has nobody on board, but the idea is to land a lunar lander on the surface uh, to get it ready for when eventually astronauts do land on the moon. The, absolutely. This is a vital precursor. It's a foundation mission that is is doing a lot of tests. NASA has on board a payload of five different instruments really designed to understand the lunar surface environment. Things like uh, what kind of gases exist at near the surface, what kind of radiation uh, that future astronauts would be exposed to on the moon. So this is a really vital mission that NASA has uh, put in a lot of money to, and this is by the way, one of many other series of missions that'll be coming down the pipeline over the course of the months, but it's the first one of this contract, this commercial contract that NASA set out for really paving the way for the future Artemis missions, the human-led missions uh, that'll be coming in, uh, in over the course of this next decade. Andrew Fizikas is an astronomy columnist and author with National Geographic joining us today from Montreal. Let's hope they get it sorted out, Andrew. Thank you for this in the meantime. Clear skies.